Hi, thanks for stopping in my channel. In this video, I'll be showing my color grading process of the log recorded with this camera. It's Lumix S5 and I'm using DaVinci Resolve and I'm using color space transform method. Why am I using this method is because whenever you have a project that has uh, footage from different cameras recorded, it's nice to have the unified color space to work with and deliver similar or same looking results and what i also like about this camera is that the 10-bit 4k delivers very very nice image and in a grading process it doesn't fall apart in comparison to let's say 8-bit footage so the footage i'm grading is just a very simple scene of the subject standing in front of a window it's a sunset setting the room itself is a bit cold but the outside is warm. Let's get to DaVinci Resolve and let's do some um, grading together. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna use Color Space Transform. So I'm doing the Color Space Transform from Panasonic V Gamut and V Lock to DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. And then again, at the end of a node tree, we're gonna select DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate and Output Space Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. And now let's do the grading. I'm gonna start with adding some contrast for the image. And I'm gonna adjust the tint and the temperature. Also, I'm gonna reduce the gain and adjust some gamma. And let's manipulate colors with color warper tool. So I'm just gonna do some adjustments there. And then I'm gonna do the curve. Then again, I'm gonna adjust some temperature. And then I'm gonna use power windows to adjust the areas around the character. So on the left side, I'm just gonna decrease the gain using the curves. And on the right side, I'm gonna adjust that sunset also using curves and adjusting a bit of a gamma to make it warmer. Again, I'm using another power window. And here I'm selecting and inverting the window and adjusting the area surrounding the main subject. So I'm just darkening a bit using the curves and adjusting slightly bit. Another note, I'm gonna just decrease the temperature of your overall image. And on the last note, I'm gonna add some film grain just to make that filmic look. So that's a very quick color grading. And in this grading, I'm not using any LUTs or additional things that could help with grade. And here you can see before and after of the image. All right, that is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas and suggestions. And I hope you guys to see you next time. Bye.